Oh look, we're starting to get that pocket in the bottom. Yeah. What if we did a scrap just around the table here? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Box Garage. Today we are working on a Dana 60 front axle that I'm building for my di uh, diesel Bronco. I'm calling this my ultimate junkyard build and the first thing we're going to do is make it so we can put a shave kit on the front. So we've got it in the bridge port. We're lucky enough to have that. I built up these jigs on the sides here to hold the axle and as you can see Maybe they got rust on it. We were even. Maybe we're not even anymore. Pretty level there. And then uh, we're just checking here to make sure we're level front and back. And what we're going to do is take this cover off. And I have a fly cutter. We're going to go cut this down so we can go and cut the bottom of this diff off, shave it. I have a video, a link below, discussing that if you're interested in that process of what it is. And uh, here we're going to implement it. Shave this down, weld this plate in, and uh, that'll be the number one step on this thing. So, uh, yeah, follow along and we'll get to it. So I went out and grabbed the cheapest fly cutter that would be here in a day from Amazon. We're going to go throw that up in the bridge port, and we're going to see how this goes. I also shimmed a couple pieces of wood and a plate underneath to keep maybe a little bit of vibration out, and... Uh, we're looking good. Hopefully this is one of the last times you see this axle fully uh, cast. I know. Give that a shot. Huh. Let's just try to cut it. I just want to see what it looks like. How it goes. Yeah. Just go slow. Just so it looks good. As you're about to see, the initial setup of our jig left some to be desired. This is getting a little thicker too. Yeah. Our fixturing, let me cut this tool off. Since the way we have it clamped, it's starting to pull it in, rock it this way. And we started cutting deeper and deeper. Oh, let that focus. There we go. Which isn't an issue, but something we have to pay attention to for when we get closer to our final cut. So we're gonna readjust, have a beer and keep going. So once we went and noticed that our axle was going and shifting forward, we moved it back to the plane we needed, tightened it down a bit with the U-bolts, and continued to cut. Even with this, we realized that the axle was moving around some and that our jig left some to be desired. However, we were able to keep working, and we were able to just like kind of work with it the way it was. That was for a while, at least. Then we found that uh, we needed some improvements, and we found that right about here. Oh, look, we're starting to get that pocket in the bottom. Yeah. What if we did a scrap just around the table here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Joe, all the wheels broke. What was that? Sorry. Hmm. All right, we need better welds on our jig. That is on me. It turns out I was pretty excited to get this thing mocked up. And with my jig, I just tack welded it all together. They lasted a while, but it turns out they didn't last the entire time. And they were also a big reason why the thing was moving around. I ended up going and welding it solid 
And also, I forgot that we had machinist jacks, so I replaced that block of wood and that plate with nice machinist jacks. Also, as an improvement, my dad came around and we added a little bit of coolant spraying for when we were taking those heavier cuts. At this point here, though, we we're done with our heavier cuts, so I turned the coolant off and we are cutting for final fitment. The way we did this was we measured out like they said, but we also went and just did based off of uh, test fitting. We test fit, go down a little bit more, measure, and uh, I just didn't want to go and overshoot how much I needed to cut. So it was slow going, but we wanted it perfect and I'm very happy with how it came out. So we just finished up milling. We have our cover bolted on the front and I'll give you guys a look around. We got a little gap over here, but that's something we'll fill a weld and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. The cover is pretty tight to the front. So uh, I think, you know, our jig worked out. It came out pretty good. So I'm gonna clean this up, pull this off of here and uh, you know, give it a look over. So we went and pulled the axle off the bridge port and I think it came out great. Next up, I'm putting a truss on the top as you see here. If you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe to follow along.